Hello everyone, you Dr. Zia Tahir here. This video tutorial is vibration analysis of fixed pin and beam using MATLAB to calculate natural frequency and more shapes. So this is 12th lecture of vibration analysis series. So you can watch other lectures on or video tutorials on vibration analysis series in my playlist. So the problem description is compute first three natural frequencies and corresponding more shapes of transverse vibration of a uniform beam of rectangular cross section width or breadth is 100 millimeter and depth is 300 millimeter with length 2 meter modulus of elasticity 20.5 into 10 to raise per 10 newton per meter squared and density 7.83 into 10 to raise per 3 kilogram per meter for the beam when one end is fixed and other end is pinned. So objective is to find first three natural frequencies and to plot first three more shapes. So equation which I'm going to use here, so they are taken from mechanical vibration, SS Rao, chapter, chapter eight, continuous systems, and then here topic 8.5 lateral vibration of beams and that is the frequency equation which i am going to use here equation 9.83 that is frequency equation and here beta l is calculated from uh, so that is for natural frequency or equation and beta l can be calculated from frequency equation which is given on here figure 8.5 so that is the frequency equation to calculate beta l so first i'll solve that frequency equation which is from taken from figure 8.15 10 beta l minus 10 hyperbolic beta l is equal to 0 and that is function for more shapes and when you're going to solve that frequency equation so you will get those four first four roots of beta l which correspond to first four mode shapes. So, natural frequency calculated using equation 8.93 by solving frequency equations. So first, I solve frequency equation and compute natural frequency and then those value of beta L being substituted in mode shape equation. So, mode shape equations to get mode shape. And function which I'm going to use in MATLAB so one is the VPA solve function, double, and then plot. Further help about these functions can be uh, by typing in them in MATLAB help. So the function is VPA solve, solve symbolic equation numerically. So it needs an equation and a variable in that. So it is actually comes from here, solve equation and variable. So let's say you have a quadratic equation. And first you need to write that equation with the variable using symbolic form, which is the same, create symbolic scalar variable and function and matrix. So like as you need to start a symbolic variable uh, systems with the variable, whatever is the variable you're looking for, and then need to write equation and then solve. So if you are going to use solve, so you will get uh, in symbolic form. And if you are going to use VPA solve, so in the VPA solve, you will get that value in, uh, in numeric form. And then this double converts that numeric number into double per cn. And I'm going to use that 2D plot function to plot more shapes. So further help about 2D plot you can have from here. In the solution, the first part is to solve frequency equation, which is 10 beta L minus 10 hyperbolic beta L is equal to zero. And for that one, I am going to use MATLAB 2023 I have and home and I am going to use default layout. So that is a default layout and I'm going to use new live script. So first, I need to define title of it. So in the live script, you can have output on left side or you can have output in line or you can have only outputs. So let's say I'm going to use that outputs in line. So first, I'm going to add heading of uh, this function 
and from here I can maximize it. So for a better view, maximize. It. So the heading is vibration analysis of fixed spind and beam to find frequency and more shape. So I by writing it and at the end if I press enter, so it will give me title of the script. And then the first step is solve frequency equation. Solve frequency equation and then enter so sorry here double percentage sign and now this is subheading. So I am going to use CLC and Claire so that if everything is uh, before that is available, so it will be removed. And I have equation 10 beta L minus 10 hyperbolic beta L is equal to 0. So for that one, I need to start a symbolic uh, system. And the symbolic system is I am going to SYMS and BL. Beta L is my variable. So symbolic system with beta L as variable. And then I'll equation equal so that is 10 beta L minus 10 hyperbolic beta L double equals 0. So that is equation. E. This is the equation. So now I have to use VPA solve function for it. So what uh, this VPA solve it takes equation and then first you need to write equation, then variable, and then you need to add initial parameter which is the guess so for initial parameter uh, it, you can add here a number you can add here a number or you can add within uh, square brackets a range of numbers because the trigonometric equation so it have multiple solution so when we are going to solve it and if you are going to add here an initial guess so the system will solve that equation so that it will get a number near to its initial guess. Let's say its roots are 3.9, 10, and 13. So if you're going to add, give a initial guess as 10, so it compute nearest value to that. And if you're going to add three, so it is give, going to give you the nearest value. But when you're going to solve this one, so you need to uh, give a range of numbers. And then in range of number, it will try to find a most suitable value because we have to find variable uh, various roots so then we will start from uh, because for this trigonometric equation so one root obvious is when uh, beta l is equal to zero so left hand side and right hand side of equation so they are equal so we need to get multiple values so what i'm going to do here i am going to run a loop so i'll start from one and then I'll try to find any value between 0 and 1, 0 and uh, 1 and 2, 1 and 3. And for that one, I need to uh, use a for loop. So that is a for loop. And this is a VPA solve equation. And then variable and then range in which uh, root need to be determined. And I started from 1 to 10 with the step size of 1. And J is the next value of I. And then I'm going to save it as B lowercase L. So it will be a uh, uh, in symbolic form or numeric form. And then I want to convert it to double percentage so that double uh, function is being used. So uh, to record all that valid value, I initiated a, a zero matrix BL is equal to uh, empty metric. And then this BL is filled with, it start with empty and keep on filling all the value and then end and b l i so these are the values which i can get between these range like uh, between 1 to 10 so now i'm going to run that function so i got three roots so you can get these roots here on the left or by clicking here you can get that root in line so 3.96227 and 10 so these are the values if i want to get four roots so what i need to do i will go like here 15 and then i'm going to run that again and with that one i'll get the next root but i am interested in just three roots 
So these are three rules of frequency equation which I got. So next step is to find three natural frequencies and for three natural frequencies the formula is omega is equal to beta l squared e i root a l raised by 4 and for that one first I need to add uh, beam properties or beam dimension and for that one I'll click here at the enter here and then I will beam properties. So beam properties are all dimensions of beam and then the calculation so that is the next heading. So the length of beam in meter and width of the beam in meter, depth of beam in meter, modulus of elasticity in newton per meter squared, rho or density in uh, density of beam material in kilogram per meter cubed and then area of cross section of the beam and second moment of area of beam so that I have suppressed all so they will not be shown in uh, in the output okay so the next heading is I need to uh, compute natural frequencies so So press and enter here. So that is the natural frequencies, and then I use that formula of natural frequency here. So the natural frequency in radian per second, omega n is equal to B L I squared into square root of E I over rho A L raised by four. And to get natural frequency in hertz, you need to divide that two over pi. So and then here it will show natural frequency because here I have only two three roots so it will compute first three natural frequencies so the, these are the natural frequencies the first natural frequency is 271.8 hertz second one is uh, 881.0 hertz and the third one is 1838 hertz so these are the three natural frequencies next step is to plot three more shapes and for the more shape that is the function for more shape so I am going to write a function for this mode shape uh, for more shapes so here I have okay so now double secondary sign and mode shape okay so that is the next heading and then in the script if you have to write a function so that will go right in the end so I am going to write a function here for more shape uh, like by using all these values so more shape is a function of x so this x is from 0 to l with the suitable step size so here i started with dx which is a step size as 0 0.01 and x i have divided between 0 to l with the step size of 0 0.01 and here I have the uh, function, the name is more shape, its output is w. So it takes uh, bl value or beta l value, which is here. So it takes beta l value and then it takes dx and l and is compute uh, w, normalized function. So here I uh, cause beta l, I represented as c, sine beta l as s, cos hyperbolic beta l as cos h and sine hyperbolic beta l as sh and first i computed that alpha so that is the alpha sine beta l plus sine uh, hyperbolic beta l divided by cos beta l plus cos hyperbolic beta l so i have that alpha and then i uh, defined that x between 0 to l and then i calculated uh, values of uh, beta so we, by dividing beta l by l so that are the cause values or so then the next one is uh, cn so cn i take that one and then i substituted values of x in this formula with beta and now that is a function so function it takes beta l value it takes step interval length and it gives normalized function w okay so that is a function so now uh, i need to plot its more shapes so uh, for a comparison, I am going to first plot its uh, base state. So when the beam is not vibrating. So base state, that W0, that's a normalized function. It is a zeros. 
uh, with the length of that L and plot x w0 k line width 2 and then hold down and x label is length and y label is normalized function. So that is the base state. If I run it and it will show base state. So that is a base state so beam and uh, without any vibration. So then I'm going to do uh, first mode shape. So that is the first mode. So BL is equal to BL1, like first value of beta L. So first value of beta L and DF is defined there and L which is there. So it plot uh, W1, okay, with the line width of two. And then uh, because here I have hold on and then I'm going to hold off grade on. And then these are the X limit which I can define here. Okay, so let's say, and then the legend K state first mode and the location of length is southwest. So I just found out that uh, maximum value of y is somewhere here, which is around 1.5. So y takes I change them to minus 2 to 2. Okay, so I can run it. So that is first mode. Now I'm going to repeat the same one for uh, second mode. I have just copied the script from top and then here I changed second value of beta L and then the same one I changed that with here third value of beta L and I'm going to run it. So that is the first mod, that is the second mod and then that is the third mod. So these all three modes can be plotted in one figure. So that is for all modes along with base state on first figure uh, on one figure for figure four and then these are the more shapes so you can open that as a new window and then you can save that file save as as jpg or as a tiff file let's say this file okay so you can name it and then it is being saved there in the workspace so open outside matlab and that is the figure for the more shape. So that is all about solving this problem. I hope you find this video helpful. Thank you very much for watching.